What's up fam? It's your boy Torrance Rudd. Before I get started, I'd like to ask you to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you click the bell so you get all the notifications of my latest videos. So, let's jump right into it. The new title of my album is Religion Almost Kill Me. The, my upcoming album dropped January 17th, Friday, January 17th, 2020. Um, it's Religion Almost Kill Me. That's the name of my album. So, I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of emails, a lot of messages on why my album is called Religion Almost Kill Me. You know, so diving into it. Um, and I'm not going to cover everything in this video because, like I said, my album is dropping. If you want to get the full story of what's, why, you got to get the album. All right, but look. So, the religion of a man has been running the world since the beginning of time, since, since the days of Jesus, man. And a lot of Christians don't even understand what religion is. Jesus hated religion. He didn't hate people, but he hated religion because it's religion what turned people away from serving God. It's turned people away from receiving the Father into their hearts. Um, there are several passages of Scripture where Jesus was talking to the Pharisees and Sadducees, and they were so consumed with keeping the laws of man versus keeping the law of God. So religion is is pretty much just keeping rules, regulations versus you loving somebody. Here's an example. Jesus went to heal a man and it just so happened to be the Sabbath. In those times, you couldn't do any work on the Sabbath. But Jesus saw it was better to go and heal somebody in need than to to say, okay, I'm not going to work on the Sabbath. And, and the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the religious people, the religious leaders was was upset with Jesus because he decided to heal. And, and, and I'm paraphrasing, but Jesus said, he said, would you, would you rather me leave this man sick because it's the Sabbath? And so when we look at religion, religion is just doing things, uh, doing works. It's doing deeds versus doing the will of God. Another case in point. Jesus, um, the Fer Jesus was in a conversation, a dialogue with the Pharisees and Sadducees again, the religious leaders, and the Pharisees. They asked Jesus. They said, "Why do you transgress against the tradition of the elders?" And Jesus said to them, "Why do you transgress against the, against the tradition of God?" And that's what religion has come in. Religion, the religious spirit has come in, and it makes the it makes man's law, man's opinions, more weighted than what God says. And so when you look at it, uh, the, the title, Religion Almost Killed Me, um, just starting back, um, I did secular music from the age of 14 all the way to 18. So I did secular music. Which, when I say I did secular music, I did music that was not gospel, you know. And, um, you know, talked about things that I wouldn't dare talk about in my music now. Um, degrading women, uh, perversion, um, violence. And so, you know, fast forward, 18, at 18, I'm, I'm born again. And I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure if, if rapping for God is a thing. I'm not really sure if, if, if this is, if it's cool you know, if it, it, you know, so make it all sort of short. Um, I give my life to the Lord. So at this point, I'm like, well, I'm just not going to do music at all. I'm just, you know, I, I'm not going to do music. So the Lord, I remember so clearly God came to me in a still small voice. And he said, son, I gave you this gift to use for my glory in the beginning anyway. So I was like, wow. So I went to my dad at the time, you know, because I'm still not really just feeling this gospel thing. You know, I'm saved. I love Jesus. But I don't, you know, uh, I don't know because I don't want to be corny, uh, you know. So what I did, I, I went to my dad and I said, I, I asked him, I said, Dad, is there anything wrong with doing positive music? Which I know better now, you know, of course not. There's not anything wrong with doing positive music. But um, I went to my dad and I said, um. You know, is there anything doing positive music? Because I'm just trying to transition. I'm just coming from cursing in every other line in my music to just say, okay, I want to do something meaningful. And he said, no, there's, n there's nothing wrong with doing positive music. But he gave me his opinion, which I appreciate. He told me, he said, but for me, um, 
once I fell in love with God so much, I didn't want to do anything else. I didn't understand it at the time, but the more I grew, you know, I started doing positive music. Nothing wrong with it. But, you know, for me, in, in my personal testimony, um, I just fell in love with God, and I wanted to sing about Him. And I knew more about Him now. So before, I didn't really know much about God and who He was, but when I developed my own relationship, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more, you know, religion is not relationship. Once you know God for God, who yourself, you don't have to go by what somebody else tells you. You you found out find out who he is. You found out who he is and, and you know him for yourself, not just because of what you heard about it, but you know him. So once I found out more about God and who he was and, and what he loved, and I began to love what he loved, that's that's all I wanted to do. So here we go. 18. I'm wanting to use my passion for God in music. And now here we go. The church tells me, "Nah, man, this ain't this ain't this ain't it. This is not God." So now I'm in a dilemma. I'm in a frenzy because I know my heart is my my heart is pounding to to do this music for God. And I know I heard God's voice. And now I'm like, so the people that I look up to telling me that this is not of God. And at that moment, there was a tug of war that began, and I realized that I didn't realize it at the time that there was religion, but I would later find out. And it didn't just that it didn't end there, you know, with, with the music. But I found out you, the scripture says that who the sun sets free is free indeed, and I found out what that really means, you know. Yeah, we're free from sin, we're free from death, but when you become free from the bondage of people and the bondage of rules and regulations that separate you from God. Sin separates you from God, and then you have the religious spirit that comes in and tries to try to bind you. So I I just wanted to stop by and let you guys know if you want to find out more about my story, because it gets deep. It gets really deep. You gotta get the album. January 17th, the album drops. But you can go ahead and pre-order my album today. You can go ahead and pre-order my album today. DistroKid.com. Torrance Rudd. Look me up, man. I'm telling you, it gets serious. It gets deep. Um, I mean, I literally felt like I was going to die if I did not escape this religious atmosphere that I was living in. That I was bound to. I was becoming... Inside of church, inside of religion, I was becoming something that God never intended me to be. Listen to me. I was becoming something that God never intended me to be. This is why it's very vital, it's very important that you develop your own relationship with God and find out who he's called you to be. Yes, we need leaders. We need accountability. We need this. But you have to find out who God has made you to be, who he's called you to be. Before you was formed in your mother's womb, he knew you and he called you. God has a purpose.